Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee, owner of BlackCatBooks.org and author of Cruel and Beautiful and Eye of the Dragon, and Rabbit Hole, and The Hero 7, and uh, the upcoming King Dio. Um, and I suppose Lauren Frey, too. <laughs> Lots of stuff uh, that's coming to light uh, recently, I suppose. Yeah, first stream back after getting a community guideline strike. Unbelievable. Um, it's been a whole week since I've uh, streamed anything. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and play some more 3D World. Yeah, I've been playing this game a, a lot more over the past couple of days. I, I have to say, man, I have to say, this game gets better and better with age. I, I like it a lot more, I think, than I did when it first came out. Uh, the more I play it, the more I realize that, like, yeah, this, this game is really well made and really fun. Uh, yeah, I wish it was a bit more challenging, but, like, there's a lot of variety in the levels. Like, the multiplayer is great. There's, there's so much about the game to, like, really admire and appreciate, I think. Like, look at this one with, like, the, uh, the platforms everywhere and having to... <laughs> Here we go. Yep, yep. It's the next one. So right now I'm in the middle of, like, uh, rounding up the rest of the... Oops. The rest of the red coins. The, the, the green stars, I should say. <laughs> oh, that was fun! Oh. That was fun, alright. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been spending a lot of my weekend playing Switch and uh, writing and like doing a lot of stuff. I, I don't... I keep saying to myself that I'm not getting a whole lot done this weekend, but like, every time I look at my results, I'm just like, wait a minute, I've done a lot of crap. <laughs> with the, um, you know, King Dio is, uh, yeah, nine episodes in. It's not, a, it's still not available to the public yet. Like, I've been working on, like, King Dio for, um, for two months now. Over two months now, right? And, um, yeah, it's still not available to the public. Nobody has read anything from King Dio, which is, uh, kind of weird to say because, uh, it's been, like, my main thing for the past couple of weeks. Uh, and it's very, very exciting. I'm very happy with the way it's going, uh, Honestly, it's kind of eclipsed Lauren Frey with my attention right now. Um, I mean, I guess I kind of need a break from Lauren Frey anyway, but... Uh, King Dio is just shaping up really, really well. I, I hope it um, does really well. Alright. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. Slip and fell. Damn. Damn it. Yeah, it's totally the controller, it's not me. These janky Joy Cons. That's why I can't play the game. Oh yeah, yeah. It feels like it's been forever since E3. I I was not able to uh to upload videos while I was uh incarcerated, shall we say. So like uh I recorded a video regarding like uh, Nintendo's E3 Direct. I, I need to make one regarding E3 as a whole, I, I believe. There, there's a lot of stuff that happened over this past week that I really, really need to talk about uh, in the world of uh, video games. I, I think the most pressing one is, like, how how Nintendo is just dominating right now. Like, I think we're in the stage now where uh, the industry outside of Nintendo is, like, straight up crashing, right? Uh, everything that isn't Nintendo is, like, really stagnant and not at all interesting. Like, nobody, nobody was excited for, like, anything other than, like, Nintendo this year. Like, you had, like, a couple of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, sell out shills, like Angry Joe, trying to, uh, continue, oops, uh, selling people on, like, Xbox and stuff like that, but for the most part, like, most actual fans were, like, 100%, like, yeah, I am, I am completely 100% with that though. And, uh, for good reason, right? Like, it was a phenomenal direct. Like, I would legit, I don't want to say it's the best direct we ever had, because, like, of course, we, You've had, like, I think the original Breath of the Wild trailer, that one was, like, something else. Um, let's see. We got, the, got everything there. Yeah, I wonder how long I'll be able to stream the night before, like, my body just gives out. I, I've been having such weird problems with uh, fatigue. I've been feeling way better over the past year, uh, but, like, it's still not wide up to 100%. So what I think I'm going to try to do is, like, try changing my diet a bit more. 
Uh, what I've done now is that like I'm uh, I'm, ha I'm having like more vegetables delivered my, delivered to my house, like all sorts of things, and uh, I'm hoping just having stuff like that really really helps. Yeah, just having it, not actually eating it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I'll be eating it. Um, I've been I've been wondering. I I feel like I, I used when I first moved here. I was like eating a lot of vegetables and fruits. I'm like I I just phased it out eventually because I, I didn't have time to like prepare it or whatever. I was like letting it go bad and um, you know not replacing it and stuff like that. So um, I think I'll be here. We go. It's time to give it another shot. I think. Here we go. Yeah, that's like the only problem I ha I'm having. I'm gonna be. Hopefully, it's the last thing. Uh, it really shouldn't take too much more to get back to 100. Like, percent in a lot of ways, I kind of feel like I might be better off than I was a couple of years ago. So it's like I actually have like books on like alternate passive incomes and like am investing and stuff like that. Uh, my career has taken off. I do have a stable job. Like, I, I have distanced myself from my parents. Um, everything's like looking great, but like I still haven't like 100% recovered. I feel like, which is a uh, kind of a drag that it's taking so long. But um, I don't know, man. Like I think another year of this, and I might be living a relatively normal life. And then like another couple of years, I'll be living in like extraordinary life, which has always been the goal, I suppose. Here we go. I wonder where this goes. Yeah, there's so much stuff to talk about. I like, I made an entire list on my Discord of like everything I wanted to talk about, like on on video. I like, I recorded a handful of them, like uh, you know, early on in the week. But afterwards, I was just like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just make a list. There, there is a lot of stuff to talk about here. And honestly, I want to make a, a Nintendo Classics video on this next. Yeah, this new Super Mario Bros. Wii, like, that needs to happen. I, I want to make, like, Game Boy ones. I, I, would, I would really like to do that, but unfortunately it comes off like... I can't really get a hold of a lot of them. I just... Ugh. Like, I, I can't get recording equipment. Like, I, I was looking into equipment to, like, record 3DS games, and apparently you have to, like, mod it. Mod a 3DS to, to, so it can do that, and... Uh, I don't know, man. It just doesn't seem like a good investment to me. Like, it really doesn't. Like, I'd rather just, like, just play games on Switch or whatever. I have plenty of games to play at the moment. Like, I don't need to, like, add more to the list. Like, I'll probably just, like, take my phone or something, record, like, footage of, um, of A Link Between Worlds, and then just, like, upload it or, or something like that, and then just narrate over it. Yeah, there, there are a lot of, like, there are a lot of, like, uh, like handheld games I want to talk about like specifically. You know, Fire Emblem is one. Uh, I talked about like yeah, I took I talked about a lot of a lot of like Game Boy Advance games I own on the on Wii U Virtual Console already. Like I made one on Metroid Fusion and Advance Wars. Like like legit like right before they uh, they announced sequels to both. Uh, a remake of Advance Wars, sorry, and a sequel to Advan uh, Fusion. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to uh, spend all night like playing a bunch of like um, a bunch of uh, Switch games. There are a lot. There are, there's a lot of stuff that I had that I just kind of picked up off the shelf that I just uh, set aside. And uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of Switch games that I own that I've never beaten. Like, uh, so I, I wanted to take some time tonight and get that done. Here we go. Yeah, Famicom Detective Club. I, I need to get that done. Like, that's an that's been like one of those things that I've just been like. Yeah, I started streaming it, and, like, whenever I stream a game, I kind of get this feeling that, like, I probably should just finish it on stream. Like, it just... Uh. So, like, with, with Famicom Technical Club, like, the big reason I haven't finished it yet is because I keep wanting to stream it, and every time I want to stream it, every time I'm streaming, I'm just like, I don't really want to play it right now. Just, yeah, so I think I probably will just go ahead and, like, finish it off stream or something. I don't know, I've been reading like a lot of uh, real books off stream, so it's like, uh, maybe visual novels just aren't really something I should get into. Here we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, here we go. I have like the House of Fate Morgana on the, uh, on the, uh, on my wish list on, on Switch. 
Like, supposedly, the game that's supposedly better than, like, Ocarina of Time and Breath of the Wild, a game with, like, a 97, a 97 Metacritic score. Um, yeah, I, I have that on my wish list. I think I'm going to get Danganronpa. I don't, I don't think that classifies as a VN. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, I keep wanting to pre-order Danganronpa Decadence, but, like, it's not, not available yet for some reason. I, I guess pre-orders don't avail open until late later there were a handful of things that were like available right away like the nintendo stuff mostly and then there's like other stuff that's just not available yet like should have got many tensei five you can't put or that yet um did i not beat him yeah dagon rompa you can't pre-order yet yeah i'm pretty like I, I was very pleased with the E3 Direct in general. Like, obviously, like, um, it had problems, but, like, it, it's the same problem we've had since, like, the 90s, right? Like, the third-party support isn't there. Like, wh where are the new exciting games? Like, there, there's nothing from third parties. Like, no new Contra, no new Metal Gear, no, no Suicune, nothing. Not even, like, a Castlevania collection, which I think has been, like, leaked. I, I saw something on 4chan that, like, they're, they're re-releasing the... Uh, the Game Boy Advance Castlevania games, which is which would be great, and I would highly recommend like anyone buy those. I love those games. I've been playing so much Castlevania, dude. Like legit, like everything. I legit think I might like go ahead and play Castlevania three tonight. Like I beat four yesterday. I played like some, um, you know, Order of Ecclesia. I'm almost to be into that. I played like uh, a little bit of Castlevania three already. Uh, let's see. Did I played Bloodlines. Yeah, yeah. Symphony of the Night I beat recently. Aria Sorrow is really playing again. Like, I'm playing through all of them. Like, I am completely hooked on Castlevania at the moment. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's just like, yeah, I am a very castlevania -ish. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what it was. It was the uh, the Netflix show ending. I suppose I'm celebrating it. Now that it's over, I am optimistic that people will just kind of forget about it. Like, it, this is what I kind of, like, expect Castlevania to become, like, going forward, is that, like, every time they... Um, they hand it over to a new developer. Like, they're just going to, like, retcon everything and just not keep anything internally. Because it's, like, um, the show is going to be forgotten, I think. Uh, I don't think it's going to, like, influence the games. I don't think they're going to get... They're going to they're gonna be any more games, actually. Um, yes, yes, I'm back. Uh, finally, yeah. <laughs> finally, after an entire week. Oh, get out of my way, you piece of shit! But no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, after a week... Uh, I'm finally back, yeah. Uh, I definitely miss streaming. I There were plenty of times when I was just sitting around the house just being like, ah, I want to stream. But no, it's not It's not time yet. It's not time yet. <laughs> I was just like, I legit had people like messaging me, like, you know, asking me about like where I was during E3. Yeah, do you know how many like subscribers I probably lost because like I wasn't able to like cover E3 news like I should have with like my E3 hot takes? Like talking shit about Angry Joe, talking shit about like Mr. T, you know, like, uh, that, that came up today. Mr. T being a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> talking shit about, like, you know... Th did I mention Angry Joe? Y yeah, the Square Enix conference. Well, I, I made a video on that one. That's the that's the only one I watched live, actually, is the Square Enix one. I, di I didn't even watch the Nintendo one live, because I was so busy, right? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Fuck. That's what I've been... That's what I get for playing this all weekend. <sighs> Damn it. Well, I guess that's it, boys. The uh, the stream is over. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oops. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hang on. I fucked that up. Um, let's see. Change grip. Uh, yeah, I was uh, I was very upset that like they chose this week of all weeks to do it to uh to ban me from YouTube, to ban me from streaming and uploading for an entire week for the most asinine of reasons uh covid denial from 2020 june of 2020 me basically like addressing i i i I, uh, I don't think i actually i didn't watch the video i can't remember what exactly what i said on it but it was basically just like yeah covid's overblown it's fake as fuck uh oh i'm sorry am i not allowed to bring that up youtube you piece of shit like are you gonna are you gonna like come after me again yeah yeah i dare youtube you you piece of shit. 
faggots. Like, come on. Okay. Yeah, I, I meant what I said then, and I was, uh, as it turns out, in uh, 2020, 2021, we were uh, completely right about everything. Like, COVID was just a method of, uh, just a way to control the population. That, that's all there was to it. Uh, they all lied to you about everything. Oof. And, uh, you know, companies like YouTube are complicit and need to be, like, held accountable as well. So, yeah, uh, if anything, I kind of... Uh, I don't think I like outright said this in like any of my uh, in any of my like um, uh, uh, discussions with people online about this, but like I am actually really anxious to have like my YouTube channel deleted, just so I can like just um, just move on, forget about it. Um, I would I would welcome that out, honestly, because like YouTube is just a toxic platform. It doesn't it doesn't make me any money. It, it, it gives me nothing but headaches, honestly, with, like, the video game Lover 58s of the world, like, coming after me because of uh, some of the stuff I've said and things like that. You know, coming after, uh, going after, like, my, uh, my audience on, on Twitter and stuff like that. Um, yeah, 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 the Angry Joe thing. Holy shit, that pissed me off. So, Angry Joe, yeah, yeah, you, you're, you are absolutely right. Like, Angry Joe was angry over literally nothing, right? So, what happened is that, like, Nintendo released a statement, like, regarding, like, uh, their live stream policies about how you're not allowed to, like, mirror their own live streams. Like, um, you're supposed to, like, just do a, re you can do a reaction, but you can't, like, mirror the, um, I, I don't know what it is exactly, because I didn't do a, I didn't do a reaction myself, but, uh, Joe... The idea is that, like, you couldn't do something very specific with, like, your live stream uh, regarding the Nintendo Direct. And, like, Angry Joe flipped his shit. He was so angry regarding the fact that Nintendo, like, wasn't letting him, like, um, make money off of YouTube. Well, it wasn't even that. Like, that's how he treated it. That's how he, like, he spoke about it. But that wasn't even really true. Because, like, I know there were plenty of people, you know, actual Nintendo YouTubers, who were, like, covering the content just fine. Like, it just... It was, it was the strangest thing I've ever seen. And, like, to this day, um, he still hasn't covered a Nintendo E3. Like, he's shilled for Microsoft and, and things like that. Uh, but he hasn't, like, actually covered, like, Nintendo at all. And it's just one of those things. I am 100% convinced at this point. Uh, I, I wanted to wait till my video to, like, address this. But, like, this really needs to be said. I legit believe that Angry Joe only covers... Uh, video game products if he's sponsored. At this point in time, like, I, I am 100% convinced of this. Like, if he's not, if he doesn't have a sponsorship deal, like, he's not gonna cover your, uh, your game. Like, he doesn't give a shit. Like, he, he just doesn't care about video games. It is, like, inexplicable how he keeps, like, refusing to cover, like, Nintendo's content in any capacity when they're, like, dominating this hard. Like, the way he talks about it, you would think that, like, they haven't put out anything since, like, Breath of the Wild, which is complete nonsense, right? Like, you know, look, look at Astral Chain. That was a way better cyberpunk game than Cyberpunk 2077 will ever be. Like, it just, it, it's just, like, endless nonsense from him. Over and over again. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, let me say this right now. I think YouTube is basically a dead platform. Um, I know it doesn't seem like that. I know most of these companies seem like they're too big to fail. You know, Sony, PlayStation, uh, Google. Uh, but they really are declining in viewership because they're like, they're becoming increasingly draconian and there's no real appeal to uploading on YouTube anymore. And unlike like, you know, a couple of years ago, we actually do have like viable alternatives. Like I myself am like multi-streaming to like other platforms, including Twitch and Facebook. Actually, I, have, I haven't set up my Facebook yet. <laughs> I haven't connected my Facebook account to... Uh, to the stream yet, but uh, yeah, it's coming. Like, YouTube isn't gonna have sway, like, 10 years from now. Like, they, they won't be able to do this anymore. Like, they have a couple of, like, bullshit, like, e-celebs they try to shove on people, but, like, nobody watches or cares about them. Like, they really don't. And, and like, I think more and more, um, you're seeing that the vast majority of people on YouTube are just out to get your money. Like, that's it. Like, uh, people like Nick Ricada can bitch about censorship all they want. But, like, really, they had plenty of viable alternative platforms to express themselves. The issue they have, the issue they're having with YouTube right now is, isn't the, the censorship thing. It's, 
It's the fact they're not being, uh, oops, shit. It's the fact they aren't allowed to grift, right? They, they aren't allowed to like just grift off their audience, which is the main reason they're, they're upset. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm angry at Nick Ricada too, honestly. I, I'm mad at so many people right now. I still, have I still not made that like call out video for Nick Ricada? I don't know, man. Like, I feel like I'm always like, it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna be a long time before I'm ready to pick on someone like Nick, I feel be like. You know, an established millionaire with like this cult-like following, um, you know, a cult that I myself was part of at one point. It's uh, it, it's gonna be like, that's gonna be kind of a big deal, honestly. Ugh. I have no idea how I'm gonna tackle, tackle that one. Cause like, most people people like know everything Nick does. They just don't like, they just don't want to accept that like what he's doing is wrong. Like essentially. Um, it's not like the Angry Joe thing where like people like acknowledge that like yeah like uh, it's kind of shitty that he's uh, shilling for Xbox so much. Um, here we go. Damn it. Yeah, shit. Yeah, I, w I was watching a little bit of, like, <sighs> I, I have no respect for, like, any of these e -slips. Like, none. None of them. Like, if they're asking for your money, like, there, there's something, there's something else. Like, just don't trust them. Like, ever, under any cir circumstance. Fuck. Damn it, I missed the last one. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I don't really... <sighs> yeah, it feels like everything is getting, uh, generally speaking, getting pretty worse um, all around me. Like, uh, it feels like society is collapsing. Like, not just YouTube, not just, like, video games, but, like, literally everything. Uh, I wonder how long it's going to, like, um, to keep going like this. With, like, things collapse. Like, I was thinking, like, you know, it, the Soviet Union... Um, like in the eighties, like people thought that like it was never gonna collapse. Like, they thought there was like it was like yeah, a force that was never gonna be like uh, toppled. But like uh, then it suddenly did, and I think we're kind of uh, we're kind of in the early stages of that. I don't I don't think um, the communist states of America is gonna be nearly as successful as the Soviet Union. Like the Soviet Union lasted like what uh, I'm gonna say like shit less than a hundred years. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think we're gonna last like ten or fifteen. Cause like plenty of people already hate it. Like people haven't been sold on communism. People have been sold on like the fantasy of communism. So like I think once that like sort of uh, goes away, once like the the fantasy aspect is kind of uh, the reality kind of like slaps them across the page, you're gonna see a lot less enthusiastic support for it. Uh, here we go. They're having problems like convincing people that the uh, the election was not fraudulent. Like you have like a handful of people who will like believe everything they say. Well, I don't want to say a handful. Like a significant portion of the population who will believe everything they say, and then you have like everyone else. And I, and I think most people who aren't part of like the cult kind of know that this election was rigged, even if they don't want to admit it. I mean, Biden's not certainly not very popular, is he? Uh, well, you shouldn't have let it happen. That's that's all I can say to you. All
Oops. Oh, well. How do I get up there? Boy. I need a cat suit? Hang on. I love how the lava world is world seven instead of eight. It's like they specifically were trying to like subvert your expectations. Yeah, let's make the last world something a little bit different this time. I oh, know we gotta fight Bowser. Oh yeah, I uh, I totally support Nintendo's uh, Nintendo re-releasing new franchises. Uh, typically. Typically, they do a really good job, even if, like, a lot of people aren't really appreciated of it. Yeah, if they haven't gotten the Technical Club, is great. Uh, Advance Wars looks great. I'm hoping that, like, Advance Wars really uh, takes off with this uh, this new one. It's being made a way forward, uh, actually. Um, so I I hope that their fans sort of, like, uh, sort of latch onto it and uh, we, get, we get more uh, entries in the series. Yeah, I've never finished, like, I've actually never finished any of them. I got to the final boss of the first one and I couldn't beat it. And like, I looked up a guide and apparently like because of the route I took, I got like the worst possible loadout. A loadout so bad that the guy told me I was basically fucked. That <laughs> even the guide was just like, yeah, if you have this loadout, just play through the game again and get a better one. It's like, wow, that, that was kind of dumb. It was such a good final map too. Like. The game is great. I love it, but I, I'm, I'm gonna have to like finish it one of these days. I think I am gonna like. Hopefully, like the remake kind of fixes that shit. Like le le letting you choose your C COs for the final fight. Like, come on, like that needs to happen. Uh, yeah, a, a remake I think is uh, very well warranted. Yeah, I would. I would be all for like remakes of like other classic Game Boy Advance games. Like, uh, you know, Metroid Fusion. Might be a good a good thing to do after uh, Samus Return. I, I mean, Dread. I don't know. Like Sakamoto specifically said that wasn't going to happen, so we'll, we'll see. I would personally really like to see it because like that that's the game that like Mercury Steam really wanted to make, right? Like Met, uh, Metroid Fusion remake. I'm not sure why. Did they ever give a reason for it? Are they were they just fans of the game? That is awesome. I, I need to like give more praise to Mercury Steam, by the way, because like. They went from, like, a nobody developer that nobody cared about to, like, the team behind Metroid. Like, these guys were did such a great job with Samus Returns that Sakamoto, like, brought them on to do, do Dread. Like, is, isn't that, like, incredible? Isn't that, like, phenomenal? You have a handful of people, like, still insisting that, like, AM2R is better. It, it isn't, by the way. But, like, for the most part, I think Metroid is, uh... You know, making uh, out of its second, out of its dark age, honestly, like it, like it feels like it's uh, they're revving up to like really make the, to really uh, make the franchise big again. I could see like a Metroid Dread being the last game that like Sakamoto puts out too. Like the way he's like talking shit about like the. Uh, the, the end of the Metroid saga makes me think that, like, it's gonna have, like, one of those endings where, like, oh, the Metroids are gone forever, but it isn't the end of Samus, and then, like, Samus just goes on more adventures. Yeah, I'm, a uh, I'm interested in seeing what Dread does. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I've, uh, I, I didn't, I haven't released my video yet, huh, so people don't know my views on it. Uh, Dread looks great. It looks phenomenal. I, uh, I, uh, I was a big fan of Samus Returns, it's legit probably uh, one of my favorite 2D Metroid games. I don't want to say it's better than Super, but like it really did a lot to uh, to really to really liven things up and really did a lot of unique, interesting things. People bitch about the melee counter. Fuck you. The melee counter is awesome. People bitch about like uh, the design of the. Fuck you. The maps are awesome. Like Samus Returns was legit great, and to see people like 
reach, like, as far as humanly possible. You know how, like, Monkey D. Luffy can, like, reach across the room to punch a guy? You know how, like, arms, like, the entire point of, like, the video game arms is, like, to punch people, like, from 20 feet away? Like, th that's what those people were doing with, like, hating on Samus Returns. Like, trying to come up with some reason, some justification to hate on this great video game. Legit one of my favorite games on 3DS at this point, I think. Uh, I played through it recently. I think I'm going to play it again after seeing that Dread trailer. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, new Metroid game. Um, that means, like, I, I got to replay all the games. Uh, so, yeah, Zero Mission. I was going to re replay, like, Zero Mission and Fusion anyway. So, yeah, uh, Zero Mission and Fusion. Super and, uh, yeah, Samus Returns. Playing through all of those before Dread comes out. I, I, I love, love those games. They are top tier stuff. <laughs> More of microtransaction friendly? I, I don't think so. I, I don't think that I need to do that. What game? What games have Nintendo made that like have microtransactions at all? Like I, I don't think I don't think I've seen a single one. I swear this fight is a lot harder than I remember it being. Like every time I've done this like on Switch I've struggled with it a lot. I don't know what it is. Am I just getting old or am I just... I think normally when I fought the Bowsers I had like someone here. I think, I think it's made for like multiple people. I don't think, like, it was that fast. Uh, yeah, playing this game single player is a little bit of a different experience. I don't know, getting, like, three people together to play this, that, that is, like, a magical time. Yeah, people don't really talk about like how impressive it is that like Nintendo has made Mario like a, a successful multiplayer franchise. Here we go. Alright, come on, Bowser. Should I play Metroid, uh, Super Metroid tonight? I, I, I kind of thought I would. It's been a while since I played it. There we go. Just got him. Is that it? Is he done? Oh, uh, no. One more hit, I think. Damn it. Oh, come on. Another hit? How many hits does that card take? On. It exploded on me. All right. <sighs> yeah, I totally agree with that. Like Samus Returns basically had no problems other than the other than the ones that were already prevalent in the original. I, I don't I don't understand like the whole deal with with the Samus Returns like the, the conspiracies and the making shit up and like. It might be snoys. It, it really might be just snoys, like trying to trying to do their snoy thing of like downplaying every every major Nintendo franchise. Because like, let's be real here. Like, if Metroid becomes super super popular, you know, a female like female led like Nintendo franchise for mature audiences, like what what are like what are <laughs> what are they gonna have? 
Like, they can't, like, seriously come out and try to say, like, oh, man, Aloy. Uh, isn't it amazing that she's a, a female uh, frontlining a video game franchise? Like, they won't be able to do that with, like, with, like Samus. Um, well, they, they can't even really do it now, because nobody cares about Aloy, right? But shit. I keep getting hit before I get up there. Yeah, Arlo certainly isn't as bad as some people out there. Like, I, I give Arlo shit for, like, his uh, views on Peter from Mario. But, like, I think, generally speaking, he's probably, like, quite a bit better than, like, a number of other people I can name. Yeah, I didn't watch a ton of reactions, but yeah, Arlo was pretty happy. Um, yeah, Mr. Medicare was happy. He didn't, he didn't do a reaction. But uh, yeah, he was happy. Like, a lot of really picky people were uh, pretty happy with this. I don't know, like, Medicare has, like, disliked uh, directs that I really, really enjoyed. So I don't really know what the fuck has changed over the past couple of years. But he's, like, actually uh, praised the last couple of Nintendo E3s. Is, is he becoming one of us? Is he becoming, like, our guy? Is he going to be, like, Nintendo man going forward? Like, is he going to de dedicate, like, the rest of his internet career to uh, defending Nintendo? I'm talking shit about the snoise. Right, here we go. All right. Effie Awakening moment. Ooh, that's a, that's a really high expectations. I I could see that being Prime 4. If Prime 4 is really, really good, uh, I, I could see Prime 4 doing that. Uh, I don't I don't think Dread is going to be, like, mainstream enough. Because um, it, it's really just like... It's just like Samus Returns, right? Like it, I see it doing about as well as that. Like, uh, Well, it's on Switch, like, at the height of popularity. So I, I could see it, like, selling a couple million units. I don't think it's going to be, like, phenomenally successful, though. Uh, I'm going to be happy with it, but, like, I'm expecting, like, one, two million units sold. One of the better-selling Metro games, for sure, but, like, I don't expect it to be, like, you know, really define the series going forward with the way, like, Awakening did. Yeah, this spike's really getting me. Here we go. Yeah, this has to be made for, like, multiple people. Do you think I could just get, like, a second controller and just, like, just move two people around? Oh, damn it. Oh, there we go. I thought I missed that. All right. <laughs> The worst thing about this is that we're going to have to do this again because I didn't get all the green stars. <laughs> it's just like, earlier today I was playing like a Castlevania Order of Ecclesia and I was on this boss fight with Albus, right? Like the guy you've been chasing after the whole game. So like, I beat him and uh, I go to like the, uh, the game takes me back to like the, uh, the headquarters of the Order of Ecclesia and uh, you know, I just go up to the art altar and I'm just like, what, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to, like, use the, the pieces of Dracula? And, like, if you do that, you die. And, like, the game just sort of ends and it doesn't really give you, like... The way it's set up, it makes you think that, like, you did something wrong. Like, you didn't, like, uh, press the right button or something. So, like, I beat this motherfucker twice and, like, spend, like, you know... I, I should you not, like, five minutes, like, interacting with his art altar, trying to figure out what to do with it. Like, what buttons to press? Do I have to, like, press all, like... Do I have to assign all, like, the, the parts of Dracula to, like, a different button and then like, press them all at once or what have you? No, 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 no. That would, that would make too much sense. What you're actually supposed to do is realize that, like, you got the bad ending <laughs> and, like, and, like, do something else instead. Like, in this case, you have to, like, 
rescue all the villagers, and that somehow gives you the power to like uh, to like communicate with Albus, and he gives you a bit more context as to like what's going on, why he's done what he's done. Uh, it's it's dumb. Igathenias are terrible with like these true ending bullshit. Like they just there's no like hint at all in game as to what you're supposed to do half the time. Like if I didn't have a guide for like Portrait of Ruin, I, I don't think I would have been able to like to cure Stella and Loretta back in the day. Like uh, I had to look up like yeah how to how to become Dracula in Area of Sorrow. I had to look up like how to get the Reverse Castle at Symphony of the Night, and I had to look up this because it doesn't make any sense. Like. That they keep doing this in every single game. I don't think they did it in Circle of the Moon. I was thinking, like, what, what does Circle of the Moon do? I, I don't remember what Circle of the Moon does. But uh, Circle of the... They have a trend to have these, like, really ridiculous requirements to, like, get true endings that don't make any sense. Like, at all. Uh, it's baffling. And I like the games, too, but, like, it's, it's one of those things where I'm just, like, really? Every time this happens, I'm just, like, you need a walkthrough for these games just for the true endings. It's just... Yeah, Order of Ecclesia is, like, super hard in general, but... Oof. Yeah, I don't know what I would have done if, like, I... If I didn't, like, look it up. If I wasn't able to look it up. But yeah, Order of Ecclesia is a, is a great, great game. I, I didn't play a ton of Castlevania in general. Like, I would say I like most of them other than, like, Castlevania 2. Like, I, I played a little bit of Castlevania 2, like, last night. I was trying to beat it, and I was just like, you know, I, I don't think I'll ever will. Like, I've never beaten Castlevania 2, and I, I don't think I will, because, like, I, I just don't like it. Like, like I am straight up, like, angry video game nerd about it. Like, I'm just... This, is, this isn't Castlevania. This, this sucks. Compared to Zelda 2, which is great, I, I, I strongly dislike Castlevania 2. Like, there's nothing about it that really works for me. Yeah, I think the nerd is a bit too uh, easy on it these days. I am a 100% like... I am 100% like, yeah, I don't, I don't care for... I don't care for uh, Castlevania 2. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Like, yeah... Actually, uh, not just Dread, like, all ten of, like, uh, Amazon gaming spots for new releases are being, like, uh, hogged up by Switch releases. They dominated E3. And yet you have, you have fuckers like Angry Joe still trying to, <laughs> still trying to say that, like, Xbox One because of Game Pass. Oh, man, they're, they're getting Yakuza 7. Oh, man, this game that you could already buy for $60 is coming to Game Pass. Ooh. The Game Pass thing is such a joke. It really is. It's like it's like a justification to get excited over like new stuff again. Oh man, Yakuza Seven's coming to Game Pass. I can't wait to play it again. It's uh, it, it's dumb. There is a bunch of shit on like Game Pass E3. I noticed that like they they hadn't released anything new in a long time on Game Pass. And I was, like, kind of wondering why. It seems like they were just saving it up for, like, E3. Just like, oh, yeah, you're getting Psychonauts 1, you're getting Psychonauts 2, you're getting Yakuza 7, you're getting, like, uh, Doom 2016, even though every other Doom game is on there. Oh, by the way, I uh, I played uh, I played a little bit of Doom 2016 on uh, Xbox One. Uh, the Switch version is better, for one thing, but it's also better than Doom Eternal. Uh, that's, uh, that's something I need to really talk about more. It's something I don't see a lot of people bring up, but, yeah, it is... Uh, Doom 2016 is indeed a lot better than Doom Eternal. Here we go. God damn it, where'd that come from? That thing came out of nowhere! Suda. What's up with Suda? Suda seems to be doing great. Like, the Silver Case is coming out in July. No More Heroes 3 is coming out in August. But what happened to Suda? Yeah, I'll be playing the Silver Case for the first time uh, when it comes out uh, on Switch. I, I am a really, really excited for that. I hope it's great. I've heard good things about it, but I don't know. I didn't, I didn't care for, like, Flowers on and Rain. I, I could not get into it, so... Um, yeah, hopefully hopefully the Silver Case is good. I wouldn't be worried about Suda at all. Suda seems to be, like, entering a new golden age. Who I would be worried about is Hideki Kamiya in Platinum Games who I think have, like, 
officially like reached the point where like the public is like genuinely concerned about the future of the company because like th there are so many red flags like you know back when scalebound was first canceled we used to say that like yeah it was it was clearly microsoft they don't know how to manage a company they don't know what they're doing uh platinum is better than this but like and it was something like astral chain like getting announced like with near automata like and that seemed to be the case but what have they done since then like what other than astral chain they have put out they have shown absolutely nothing of value and like hideki kimia is like on twitter like shitting on people all the time like uh, begging people for kickstarted money and then like not following up on it it doesn't make them look good like it really doesn't uh I, I don't think Platinum Games is going to be a thing in the next 10 years. I, I, I've said that. <laughs> I've said that in the past. They, they seem like they're on the way out. Uh, my I guess is what's going to happen is that like they're just going to fold, they're going to go bankrupt, and then Nintendo will just acquire the talent. Um, am I going to... We're going to have to do this again. I think we're going to have to do this again. Shit. Oh, uh, they fought a fruity boss? I, I don't think Suda will get cancelled. Like, what happened to Sweary? Like, nothing. He's Japanese. Like, they're not gonna come after him for shitting on gay people. Like, they, they have no real power over you anyway. Like, they really don't. As long as you don't, like, yield to it. Like, uh, Scott Cawthorn, like, the, the, the FNAF guy. And he, he, basically, he basically just came out and told him to fuck off, and, uh, He'll, uh, he'll continue to believe what he believes. And that's really all you need to do, right? I, 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 don't, I don't see, like, cancel culture continuing uh, for the next ten years. It's, a, it's become kind of a joke. Like, Twitter itself has become kind of a joke. Uh, I, I myself don't use Twitter anymore. Like, I'll use it to, like, promote my books and, uh, you know, streams, and that's about it. Like, I'll just, like, keep telling people, like, just come to my platform. Just come to my, come to my website. Like, and I think that's what most people are going to going to be leaning towards going forward because like you can't you, you don't want to be on Twitter like you just don't like it's not where it's happening anymore hang on wait, hang on oh I, I think you need a cat suit that's right yeah I'm, I'm going to need a cat suit for this I hate it when you have to like go somewhere and like when you have to get a green star and you need a specific power up and it's not in the area I just hate that shit uh, yeah the platinum four was a complete joke uh, I, I've, I've said this before I think I said this when it happened and they announced the Kickstarter like the platinum four was a complete joke they uh, they announced absolutely nothing of value in fact like everything they showed made me think like they had no idea what they're doing like, self-publishing, like, nobody, nobody wants them to go self-publish. It's not a good idea. They're wasting resources. The Kickstarter, terrible idea. By the way, like, <laughs> has any... I, I mentioned this offhand, but I, I don't think, like, a, a lot of people have noticed this. Has anybody else noticed that, like, the, the, the new game starring Luca that was supposed to come about because of, like, the Wonderful 101 has still not materialized? Has anyone noticed that? Like, we still have not gotten, like, the Wonderful 101 uh, starring Luca. I, I don't know what it was. I think it was like supposed to be like a beautiful Joe type type game, like starring Luca. So like that that still hasn't come out, even though it was a Kickstarter goal. Nobody gives a shit because like uh, they got uh, most people got what they wanted, which was a Nintendo IP on uh, on other hardware. But uh, for 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 real fans, uh, that was something I was interested in, and and it still hasn't been surfaced. You know, Project GG, haven't heard anything from it since it was announced. I'm sure it's in some kind of trouble. Bayonetta 3 hasn't been shown in four years, which is a red flag in spite of what Nintendo and uh, Platinum Games is trying to tell you. Uh, this is evidence that, like, I don't, like, fanboy for Nintendo, by the way. <laughs> I'm, like, 100%, like, uh, pretty fair when it comes to, like, dealing with them. In this instance, like, yeah, Nintendo's, like, trying to cover up some kind of, like, situation. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, we're not going to know until, like, uh, some details start coming out. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't think anything from Platinum Games has surfaced. We don't, we don't know what, like, their, their internal structure is like. Uh, we don't know, like, what's been canceled or anything like that. We're, we're probably not going to know for sure what happened until, like, the studio closes. Um, 
my my uh, my assumption is that like attempting to self publish has ruined them. That that's that's my view on it. Like I have no faith in their uh, self publishing endeavors, not at all. Like they should have just let themselves be acquired by Nintendo. They would have been able to do anything. Wait, what the fuck? That was my second star. Oh, damn, we're gonna have to go back. Man. That was the second one, really. I thought for sure that was the first. Okay, so... What they should have done is, like, let themselves be acquired by Nintendo in, like, 2013, 2014. Put out a couple of high-profile, like, Wii U games, right? Yeah, Scalebound could have been produced for Wii U. You know, um... All this stuff could have been made. Oh, shit, yeah, let's, uh... Are we gonna have to beat the course? Ah, oh, shit, I think we are. Before we look again, shit, okay. I didn't realize we touched the flag, damn. Yeah, they, they should have been, like, acquired by Nintendo at their peak. And now, like, they're just not going to survive. Like, they're just not. They don't have what it takes. Here we go. Well, it's not that they don't have the, the creative talent. Like, the issue is that, like, they don't, they're not a publisher. They never were. But they're trying to, like, publish and, like, cut out, like, the middleman. When that's not really how it works. Like, you need the publisher to, like, market and promote your games. Like, like you can't pay for everything yourself. And uh, they don't seem to understand that. They don't seem to understand that they need Nintendo. I think. And they're trying to... They're basically trying to do what, like, Level 5 did in, like, 2012, 2013. They broke off a lot of their partnerships with Nintendo to try and go mobile, and uh, it didn't work out for them. Now Level 5... Now they're, like, a complete joke and a shell of their former selves, right? They went from being, like, one of the most popular third-party developers on Nintendo hardware in the DS... In the DS era to being, like, a complete joke that nobody cares about anymore. Like, that's, that's what I think is going to happen to Platinum. Um, I, I, uh, I, 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 ex I am expecting it at this point. And it's no one's fault, and it's no one's fault but their own. Like, don't let people, like, blame Nintendo for this. It, it's their fault. They let this happen. They weren't fucked over by some, like, giant corporation... They were just unable to, like, see the reality of their situation. They were unable to appreciate the fact that, like, Nintendo, partnering with Nintendo, being acquired by Nintendo, was the best route they possibly could have taken. They, they just... They had to develop for multiple platforms. This is what I'm talking about when I bitch about, like, multiple platforms existing. Is that you have companies like Platinum who think that, like, naively believe that they would be able to sell more copies if they just released on more platforms. But no, that's not how it works at all. Because, like, if people want to play your game, they would just buy the platform it's on. Like, releasing on more platforms doesn't increase sales, necessarily. Here we go. Oops, shit. Yeah, I, I am pretty upset about that, uh, to be honest with you. Like, Platinum Games could have been, like, the go-to dev for, like, mature, action-oriented games. They could have, like, made a great Star Fox. Actually, they did make a great Star Fox in Zero. <laughs> um, I don't really consider that a Platinum game, though. It's a, it's a Miyamoto game through and through. Um, you know, they could have done great things with Metroid, with Star Fox, with F-Zero, even. Like, they had a lot of potential, but... Uh, they let the hu their hubis get the better of them, I think. Oh, damn it, I missed. Got him. Yeah, Babylon's Fall is, like, I think the re main reason, like, people are saying this. Because, like, I, I think that was, like, the limit te litmus test for a lot of people. Like, okay, is, is Platinum really lost their touch, or is it just our imagination? Because, like, every developer puts out, like, a bad game, like, occasionally, right? Like, Metroid put out Other M, right? You know, one of, the, one of the most, like, critically acclaimed franchises in video games put out Other M. So, like, people were, like, optimistic, like, okay, they're just having problems, like, they'll, they'll overcome it eventually... Uh, but, like, after seeing Babylon's, Babylon's Fall, seeing it's a live service game, no. Uh, no, Nobody has any respect for that. 
Like, I spoke to a lot of people who immediately said, the instant they said it was a live service game, oh, yeah, completely dropped. Like, it's over. Ne it's never going to happen. Never, ever going to play this game. And uh, I agree. Like, it, it's one of those... It's like how I felt about microtransactions 10 years ago. Like, it's just a major red flag. It ruins video games. It really does. And um, you, should, you shouldn't you should support that kind of a... That kind of... Um, that kind of... Um, that kind of release. Uh, they, they should have just made it like a single-player action RPG. Yeah, have I seen, like, SMT5? Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, I have seen SMT5, and it looks good enough that I, I am going to check it out. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and pick up 3 as well, but, like, I've got to play 4. I really do. I've owned 4 for years now. Like, since before uh, uh, Tokyo Mario Sessions came out, actually. And I really liked it, but I never got into it. I don't know what it is. I, I just never, never really, like... Uh, uh, you've got to be kidding me, really? It's down there. No. Oh. I never got into it, unfortunately. And I liked it a lot. It's just it's just one of those cases where, like, it's such a difficult to get into franchise. I just didn't put the time in it. To be fair, though, I was, like... You know, when I, when I bought that game, I was, like, really concerned about, like, my future and shit like that. I, I was really concerned about what was going to happen, like, uh, you know, five, ten years from now. So, like, you know, I, I was, like, in the early stages of, like, you know, getting my books written and stuff like that. I'm uh, making money. Yeah, that's around the point I was still in poverty, huh? Wow. <laughs> Five years ago. Yeah, I was still in a complete abject poverty. But yeah, um... But yeah, I never got into it for that reason. Um, but, I, but I liked it well enough to check out Tokyo Mario Sessions. Really liked it, and I hope, like, SMT5 is, like, uh, something I can get into, I think. And then hopefully once I finish it, I can play 4, or play 3... Uh, finally get, get into this franchise that I've been trying to get into for years now. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can play it. I mean, I'm sure I will, but like, I have like a, I have a lot of, lot of, I have a lot of games I need to play. Like, I legit like started the stream saying that like, oh yeah, we're gonna play so many weird Switch games today, guys. And I ended up playing Mario 3D World. So I think, I think that says a lot about like my uh, current state right now. I have a lot of shit I need to play. Here we go, got him. I, I cannot get over, like, how the, uh... I'm, I'm lucky for, like, the motion controls and the Wii remote to the Joy-Con. I... I've always said that. Like, I just, I, I just cannot get used to it. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's usable, but like, uh, I, I definitely like for the 3D All Stars version of Super Mario. Like, just, just play the originals. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but like, there's something about them that I just don't like as much as the originals. All right, maybe I'll get used to it the more I play them. But yeah. Sunshine, definitely not. I think. I think for Sunshine, where Sunshine is concerned, I'll just play the original forever. But... I don't know. Those games are getting kind of old. I, I'm not sure if my physical copies will like work for forever or not. Yeah, n none of my Nintendo, g none of my like console stuff is like given out yet. But like, it's inevitable, right? Like, it's gonna give out eventually. Like, I think some of my Super Nintendo stuff is finicky, but. Um, It'll work. It works fine when I want to play it. My N64 is what I'm concerned about, honestly, because I have, like, basically everything on it. Oh, here we go. And it's, like, you know, my buddy. It's been there, like, since the beginning. Um, so I'm kind of concerned about it. Yeah, yeah. I just heard... I just saw... Uh, I just saw, like... Uh, I just saw a Mike Matei stream where, like, uh, someone, like, commented, like... N64 didn't have games for, like, the first year or so. So, like, I went ahead and looked it up, and you know what? It wasn't fucking true. Fuck anyone who says that, like, uh, N64 didn't have great games. Like, there was, like, what? What was it? Like, you know, you had Pilot Wings, Super Mario 64 right out of the gate. You had Wave Race. You had, like, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Lots of good stuff. Again, it was the same problem we always have. Like, it's the third parties. Like, they need to be... But where was the Act Razor 2, huh? The Act Razor 64. <laughs> like, where's our Final Fantasy 64? Where's our Metal Gear 64? Like, 
Where are the games, third parties? Three games. So I'm so like, I, I get so upset about that. Like the weird, the weird like uh, vitriol that PlayStation owners have towards N64 ones inside. It's weird. Hang on. Yeah, I was thinking of doing like a, 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 I was thinking of playing like Wave Race 64 at some point. I uh, I love that game. I actually don't own it physically. I might I might like go out and do it. One of those games I didn't like when I was really young, but like I, I've uh, grown up to really enjoy it in the years since. Finally, once we beat him this time, we're we're through for this boss. How many more hits is that? Two? Is it one or two? I want to say it's like probably two, but we'll see. Oh, here we go. It's one. Okay, so it might be two more, huh? Yeah, got it. Alright, easy. We just end up magically end up at the end of the bridge, huh? Let me just teleport over there. Excellent. We uh we beat Bowser. We beat World uh, Castle, guys. I love how they just give up giving them numbers and just Ah, uh, enough about the Famicom Detective Club thing. Uh I I swear I'm gonna play it one of these days. I swear. I yeah, every time I stream, it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna play Famicom Detective Club, and every time it happens, it's just like, uh, I'm about ready to like end the stream. It's just, uh, damn. And I like the game a lot too. It's um, uh, it's a shame I seem to be the worst ever at streaming that game. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, blame YouTube, not me. Uh, it's YouTube's fault that I wasn't streaming for the past couple of days. Because, like, didn't I say that, like, before I was getting banned, that, like, next time I streamed, that I would be, like, focusing on Famicom Detective Club? Like, <laughs> isn't that what I was, like, isn't that what I promised? But, like, because of YouTube, yeah, it's totally YouTube. Not only are they, like, censoring Donald Trump and, like, uh, enabling, like, uh, crazy leftist policies, they're, uh, they're, they're not giving you your Famicom Detective Club playthrough by Harmon Smith. <laughs> it's their fault. Oh, damn. Here we go. It's all I had to do? Huh. It's really ridiculous when you, like, overlook really easy stars. Okay, hang on. jumped and climb up that wall. That thing was like completely pointless. Alright. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, shit. 
God damn it, I fucked that up. Yeah, trading in consoles is like one of the stupidest things you can do. Like, how are you gonna play like all your games? Now? Like, it's just, it's just dumb. Like, just pay for a new one. Like, how cheap are you? Like, are you poor? I just. I don't know. I see people complain about things being expensive, but like, I, I don't understand. I, I don't. I'm not rich yet, right? But like, it really does feel like I can buy basically whatever I want. Like, um, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, uh, the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer looked great. I was very hyped for it, especially, I, I think the, the thing that got me most excited was the fact that, like, it tied into Breath of the Skyward Sword, which I really was not expecting. I think most people were expecting, like, oh, yeah, you're going to go to the underground. But no, it's, uh, you're going to the sky. So you can see, like, Skyrim, uh, Skyrim, uh, um, Skyward Sword stuff, which might actually be really exciting. Like, uh, the Breath of the Wild team is going to finally give you, like, the, uh, the sky-exploring experience that you should have gotten in uh, Skyward Sword. So, yeah, that's uh, really exciting. It took them, like, legit over ten years to figure out. But, yeah, they finally did it. Yeah, I hope Skyloft exists in some capacity. That would be great, but I'm not sure how likely that is. Like, like I, I've mentioned this several times, but I'm a big, big fan of Skyward Sword. I think it's one of the best games uh, in the Zelda series, so uh, I am very excited to see see it get, like, you know, not only, like, supported with, like, re-releases and stuff like that, but, like, getting acknowledged by uh, subsequent games in the franchise. Like, this is really exciting stuff. Yeah, I'm very optimistic about the uh, about the implications of this. Was the blue switch light the one that you just bought? Didn't, weren't you like, weren't you the one who was, no, hang on, did you pull a Review Tech USA, no, no, I, I mean a, a Gamer Nate 78, excuse me, <laughs> I had my fat fox confused for a minute there, like did you pull a Gamer Nate 78, where <laughs> you just bought a new console and immediately traded it in for a new one, like it just, come on, does anybody else remember that or is it just me? This guy, this, this guy legit, like, bought, like, five or six Wii U's and just kept trading them in for, for other things. It's just like, what, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the fact that you're exploring Skyloft is, like, a really, uh, really telling, I think. Yeah, definitely. I wonder how they're going to do it, though. Are they going to like give the Master Sword another upgrade? Do you think that's like reasonable to expect? I, I can't think of anything else they would do with Skywalk, um, honestly. Yeah, I think there's a lot like uh, they haven't shown us yet about Breath of the Wild, too. Da, da, da. 
Yeah, since we started uh, talking about Breath of the Wild, should I like pop in, uh, you know, Breath of the Wild on the Switch? I was I was thinking I might stream it again. Every time I, I think the big reason I never like want to play it again is because every single time it's like, do I start a new file? If I start a new file, like, don't you delete your entire thing? Like, it doesn't have, like, multiple save files in this one. Yeah, that is, like, that is the zero out of thing, ten thing I, I don't like about Breath of the Wild. Like, what the fuck is up with that title screen? Like, the title screen is, like, just complete garbage. Like, it is completely reprehensible. I don't know what they were doing with that title screen. Yeah, let, let's pop in Breath of the Wild. Uh, I've been meaning to play it forever. Um, I, haven't, I haven't played it in, like, I feel like legit a long time. Age of Calamity? Yeah, I haven't finished... I actually... That's actually one of the games I got on my shelf. Have I, have I played it on stream before? I, I forget. Yeah, now that you bring it up, I did want to play Age of Calamity. Tonight. Um, yeah, let's look and see at my uh, collection of games here. Check out this uh, small collection of uh, Nintendo Switch games that I uh, wanted to play tonight. So yeah, you uh, recommended Age of Calamity. Let's see, yep, here it is. All right, uh, let's. Uh, yeah, I've been meaning to play it for a while, so let's let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it might, I might need to download the DLC again though. Now uh, let's see how that goes. Yeah, way to distract me. Like, yeah, let's play Breath of the Wild, but no, let's play Age of Calamity instead. <laughs> Which, uh, by the way, uh, has my vote for being, like, the single worst game on uh, on Switch. I, I can't think of anything I've played from Nintendo that's, like, as, as shitty as this. Um, Starlink, maybe. I'll be honest, I think I like Starlink more than this. Um... Like, I think I like Mario Rabbids more than this. Like, this was this was incredibly disappointing. I was expecting this to be, like, at least on par with, like, Hyrule Warriors. But no, it's uh, it's significantly worse. And I went ahead and, like, played Hyrule Warriors, and, like, since this came out, and, like, I immediately was just like, yeah, Hyrule Warriors, the original, was so much better than this. Like, the visual quality looks better, like, the combat is better, the action is better, like, the, the story, even... Which was already kind of shit. Like, <laughs> is it nearly as bad? It's just... Hyrule Warriors, Warriors was better. To the point where, like... Why didn't we just get a Hyrule Warriors 2? Like, why did, why did we get this garbage, like, Age of Calamity spinoff title? Like, I just... I, I just hate it. I, I hate it. They completely botched it. Like, they had a really good opportunity to really expand on, like, the Age of Calamity. And they, uh, they made up some fanfic nonsense. Like, fanfic written by, like, I don't know, like, a Zelda chic lover, like, 94, as opposed to, like, author Cody Lee. Yeah, if I wrote a Zelda fiction, fan fiction, it would be it would be amazing. If I wrote a Zelda fan fiction, I would guarantee you it'd be better than this. <laughs> like, does anybody disagree with that? Like, I, I legit could write a better fanfic than this. Produced by W Force, a company that has gone to complete shit over the past couple of years. It wasn't like the newest like Warriors game, like completely complete trash, like the Dynasty Warriors Nine or something. Here I was like ex excited to play like a uh, Breath of the Wild, and here I am playing this garbage. If I keep, like, chipping at this game, like, over the next ten years, I may someday finish it, but... Okay. 
Okay, let's uh, let's see here. The extreme FO updated. Here we go. All right. Rivali the Reno Warrior. Yeah, look how like little I've actually done in this game. I I don't think I've done shit. Party. Well, you have to you have to use Urbosa and you have to use Impa. Why can't I use Link? Like, Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Maybe I should use other other characters. I've been I've been abusing the shit out of Link and Impa, so I haven't really played as anyone else. Uh, let's switch out. Yeah, I want Rivali, and I want my boy. Urbosa is actually pretty fun to play as I remember, but I played as her already. So let's try a uh, Rivali and Daruk. Okay, I've never actually played as these guys before, but let's, uh, let's go out. <laughs> Does he just glide? Does he not actually, is he not actually able to fly? Ah, oh, no, poor Rivali. Poor Falco. And they somehow evolve from fish. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense. Especially since they like coexist with the Zora in this game. I, I, I guess like this game kind of establishes that like interbreeding between races is possible, right? Because like Mifa like legit like wants the bang link, and apparently it does. It would work, I think. I've been reading B stars recently, so I think I have like. A bit more of an open mind when it comes to like interspecies relationships than I used to. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, I brought up the uh, Castlevania Advance Collection already. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. <laughs> yeah, she has. Yeah, we got the detective gloves. Uh... Yeah, hopefully in Breath of the Wild too, the Rito get to do a lot more because they're not really all that prevalent. Wait, am I fighting Rivali while I'm playing as Rivali? So is it letting me, like... Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, whatever. I, I guess I'm killing my own people. Oh, look at this. He can fly. Yeah, I... I, I really hated this game when I played it. Like, the story is just unbearably awful. The fact that they're selling DLC for this, like, is just embarrassing. What the fuck was that? Oh no! What about the bridge? What am I gonna do? Fly across it? Just come on! Come on! What what you think that was gonna do? That's not gonna stop me. Alright. I didn't think this through at all! Oh, apparently, yeah, the bridge being out means you can't fly over. Okay, whatever. Damn, this game is stupid. I'm not even talking about, like, general plot shit. I'm just talking about, like, just the weird, just the weird nonsense that goes on in these, in this game. It's just... It never stops. Like, it's not just, like, the time travel. It's not just, like... It's not just like the the retcons and the nonsense. Like it just damn, this is awful. It really is like the legit worst. I don't know how anybody like 
seriously defended this. Because, oh, here we go. It's, uh, the combat's not good. Like, the enemies aren't fun to fight. Here we go. I don't think I like playing as Revali. Hang on, let me switch to the room. Okay, that's a bit more like it. have gotten so much worse. Like, they really have... Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Warriors was fine, but, like, at least for the campaign, but this? This is awful. All right. Yeah, this game looks terrible. The visual quality is incredibly bad. It's especially weird because, like, it rips off, um, you know, Breath of the Wild character designs and, like, maps and stuff like that. Like, <sighs> modern Koei Tecmo has no idea what they're doing. Like, Warriors games were never good, but, like, <sighs> I don't know. They had, like, an appeal. Here he goes. Like, these days, I, I have no idea what they're doing. He can't even do the stuff that, like, uh, Link, uh, Gorn Link can do in Madura's Mask with, like, the spikes and, like, just, uh, you know, disappointing me, Daruk. He doesn't even roll that quickly. I guess I'm rolling uphill, but... Ah, uh, let's go. Let's kill the Gorn. Ground battles are not our forte. Oh no. <laughs> Man, making excuses. We must parlay with him before it's too late. Uh, someone's been watching Pirates of the Caribbean. All right. A sketchy Hylian. That's unusual for a raid. surprising because it's a Warriors game. It has nothing to do with it being on Switch. Like, I think Dynasty Warriors 9 has, has similar visual problems. Like, you, need to, you need to stop blaming the hardware when it, com when it comes to like obvious developer issues. Like, Doom Eternal is shit no matter what platform you play it on. It's not... Yeah, the maps are too big. Like, that, that is another thing I, I, I can't stand about this. Like, how long did it take me to come over here to get to my objective? Like, a minute or so? Like, that's way too long. Like, it maybe should have taken, like, 30 seconds. At the most. I hate this game with a passion. I really do. It's so bad. Every time I play it, it's just like... I was shocked at how bad this was. I really was. It's one of the worst games I've played in a long time. Hang 
how do you what? how do you use bombs in this game? Is it R? There we go. Thoughts up. Why? That's what about the uh, warrior's attack. 200 KOs. Did I get him? Looks like I did. I'm actually, uh, actually when I was playing on uh, Doom 2016, I went ahead and played on Nightmare. And I got like a little bit into it. So yeah, I, I could definitely beat Doom on Nightmare. So yeah, don't, don't try to tell me I'm bad at Doom. I, I can beat it on the highest. I definitely can beat it on the highest difficulty. I, I was just gonna, I was gonna make a video about this, but I, I think I'm like, um, I, I've, heard, I've already like said on the stream that like Doom 2016 is better than Doom Eternal. So uh, yeah, I'll probably will release a video talking about that uh, very soon. Wait, what use is this fucking bird? You can't fly over broken bid bridges. You can't fly over barriers. Like, what are you supposed to do? Hang on. Uh, can I just? I think I'm gonna just send Rivali over there and uh, have him just order him to do it. Yeah, switch up. Uh if anything, I think the whole, like, graphics thing is, uh, really dying down, because I, I don't really see a lot of people... Hang on, just... How do you heal in this game? You have, like, potions, right? There you go. I don't see a lot of people, uh, really complaining about graphics anymore. Like, if you see anyone doing it, they're, they're just trying to, like, trying to fit on Nintendo. They don't actually, like, seriously evaluate, like, graphical capabilities or anything like that. Like, it's just a method to try and, like, attack. And to uh, try and prove uh, PC gaming to be superior. I don't, I, don't think mo I don't think anyone really gives a shit in this day and age. I really don't. Like, after Bayonetta, I don't, I don't think so. I just hope, like... I just hope in the next couple of years, like, you people are just openly made fun of. Because, like, you're just really getting annoyed. beat it because like it, it's too boring like Doom 2016 is better than Eternal but it's still not very good so I, I'm probably not going to beat it again um, I only bought it because it was uh, I only downloaded it because it was on Game Pass Here we go. this game is so bad man Weak point smash. The archers have been defeated. Okay, what do we do now? We are just getting started. Is that why I kicked your ass? New objective. Uh, ah, shit. Where's, where's our volley? Yeah, he came over here. Seriously, see like fanboys today try and try and say that Persona Five can't run on Switch, which is complete nonsense. Yeah, Yakuza can't run on Switch, which is complete nonsense. Um, uh, they're desperate to keep uh, to keep the narrative going. Like when you get right down to it, like when you take away this idea that like Nintendo consoles are like weak or you're incapable, like there's really no reason why they aren't like the best in the industry. 
like everything we've played tonight and everything we talked about, like, that's all like Nintendo exclusive. Like it's never coming to other platforms. Gee, it's that gate I could have just flown over with her folly. These guys are taking a lot of hits. Okay, let's uh, kill him. Single blow. 300 KOs. Wait, KOs? I'm not actually killing anyone? Are we taking lessons from, like, the Norian book of strategy? Like, come on. would I have like in fighting any of these guys like why would I not just go to the next objective it's just these maps are just too big and too pointless ah, here we go here, here comes Raleigh you should have been here already but Like, I only played one map so far. One stupid map, and I'm already raging at this game like being the worst thing ever. Unbelievable. It's Falco. <laughs> hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. Okay. Okay, what is mine? My... Yeah, it's too powerful. You can't even fly? Hey, wait, but Rivali's here. What? You're fighting yourself and you tell yourself that you can't fly. Come on, this is just... Rivali, everyone hates you. Like, everyone fucking hates Rivali. He sucks. Why does he look so much like Falco? I don't... I can never get over that. <laughs> Fucking Falco. Alright. Hang on, let's uh, get the weak point spatch. There we go. Let's see how much that damage that does. Bam! That could have been a lot better. I didn't expect you to make it this far. I suppose I'll go ahead and humor you. Oh, uh, he's going to take things seriously now. You may even steal the win. Bomb, hang on. Wall jump.
there. Okay, knock him down. All right. That was dumb. What? Didn't I get him the first time? Why, why did I do it twice? Take this, you snowbird. Okay. Super effective against birds, right? My Pokemon logic is uh, paying off. All right, let's uh, hit him again. Smash. Have I leveled up at all in this entire level? Uh, I might as well just stick with Link because like he's the most powerful character. Herbosa is fun to play as, but like I don't care for uh, Raleigh. I don't care for the root. Well, I've never played Killer Instinct. Oh no, Daruk is Link all along. Don't tell me this is all just a ploy. To... Oh, he's using the... That should have Robin Hood tactics. Uh... I'm better. I can't think of a funny Falco quote. <laughs> he did <can't> say it! <laughs> okay. Zelda, we weren't fighting. We were just, like, having a little uh, argument. was nonsense. That was garbage. I don't, I don't want to play this ever again. I really don't. Every time I pop this in, it's just like, wow. It's just it's so bad. Party. You can't use Link? Oh, hang on. Oh, he's already equipped it, okay. Yeah, should I keep playing it? I don't I don't think I wanna play. Oh, we got all four of them. Yes, yes, we played Breath of the Wild one. 
Do you think anyone playing this has never played Breath of the Wild 1? He really doesn't like you. Sometimes I think you're the only one who understands me. She treats her robot like a normal girl treats her cat. <laughs> so, cat girls are uh, trouble, but what do, you, what do you think about robot girls? Zelda, we need to talk about your robots. Yeah, we don't know anyone like that. We don't know anyone hardcore enough. Oh, no. Oh. What the fuck? He picked up on that already? already established at this point. I thought they weren't they weren't a thing until after Ganondorf took over. Ah, well, we'll see. Yeah, I think I'm ready to play something else because this game is uh, shit. I don't know why I decided to keep playing, but uh. Okay, we'll try to finish this map. The Yiga Clan attack. So we're playing as the woman lit Mifa. Who, like, honestly, like, I really like Mifa as a character. Right? I like her a lot more than Rudo, right? Even though they have the same gimmick. They're, uh, they're fish girls who desperately want Link's dick. But, yeah, Mifa's a lot more likable. To the point where, like, if I wasn't so weirded out by, like, the human fish thing, or the Hylian fish thing, I guess, in this context, like, I wouldn't... <laughs> I would totally ship it, because, uh, I don't know, I, I just like that kind of thing. She's very Hinata-ish. I, I kind of like that kind of person, right? Okay. Link is left- what? Taking Zelda with him? You son of a bitch! Prepare to die. The fucking Ega clan. Right. You haven't raised up uh, Mifa at all. Isn't there, like, a training thing you can do? I think I must have, like... Hang on, I guess. Maybe I should just switch to Rebosa. Where's Rebosa? And have her deal with it. I think I might not have, like, raised my characters properly. Because I've never used them before, right? But I think they're too under-level to deal with uh, what's going on here.
I don't know, this game like made me like Arbosa a lot more, surprisingly. Uh, Arbosa is like really fun to play as. Um, I don't love her crazy powers. I don't think like Breath of the Wild really showed her using this shit, but uh, yeah, good move on the developer's part, I think. Um, the Femcell Mifa. But, like, no, like, Link would have done it, right? Like, Link was gonna... Like, I could see him better with Mifa more than Zelda, which says a lot about how unlikable Zelda is in this. Like, I wouldn't call... I wouldn't call Mifa a Femcell. Like, she likes Chad. Who, who doesn't like Chad? I mean, he didn't, like, straight up reject her, right? Ugh. I mean, she legit thought she could marry him, so she must, they must have had some kind of relationship. The main thing I would make fun of her is for, is for being a woman -led. Like, she's short as fuck. Like, I don't... Like, she's the shortest member of the cast by far, I believe. Shorter than, like, the Japanese, like, fucking input. Like, shit. What are you doing? Alright, oof. So she has to be, like, at least three feet tall. Like, going by these character models, right? Link's, like, already not that tall to begin with. But yeah, Mipha's, like, tiny. A tiny little fish girl. Here he goes. Got him. The moblins have begun to assault. I'm out, of, I'm out of healing items. Defeat the Moblins. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I'm gonna win, because I, I thought the I thought the healing items reset, but I think you need to like how do I think on it? Like, I think you need to actually, uh, just set them up or something. Here we go. Like, actually, like, re-equip them on the, on the menu. Which is dumb, but, uh, whatever. Isn't that exactly how Rudo did it in, like, the original Hyrule Warriors? Strike like a flash of lightning. Oh, come on. Come on, post side, you piece of shit. I kind of like the, uh, the the lightning aesthetic more for the Gerudo than the sand one. I think that's a little bit different than what we've seen before. Here we go. Here we go. Yep, Rebosa can do it. Alright, let's finish the fight. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna clear this map and then uh, probably play something else. Hopefully never play this again. <laughs> it's so bad. I don't know, it's kind of fun to riff though, you know? So I, I might stream it again someday. It just popped out of nowhere. Got him. Like a boss. Leveled up. The enemy shows no signs of relenting. Perhaps we should ask for assistance at the garrison. hard time believing this is actually what happened during the Age of Calamity. I, I am uh, kind of skeptical of this nonsense.
Yeah, sure, until you don't play your Xbox X, Series X either. <laughs> you just don't like video games. Acknowledge it. Admit it. Like, embrace your lack of interest in the medium. And she strikes like lightning. Got him. Defeated. Hey, what, what are we going to play after this? Is that it? Is, hopefully that's it. Oh, nope. There's another mob. I didn't see this one. Hang on. Charge up. Uh, hit him again. I should do it. We're saved. Now we can help the princess too. All right, sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night, buddy. Let's go ahead and beat this. So we want to do it again later. But... Electric Moblin? Is this a thing in the... I don't think so. I, I don't remember these things. Does it save? I, I am so fucking bored. Yeah, I don't think I want to play this anymore. Uh, yeah, system. Save. Yeah, we're done. Alright. Uh, should I just go a little AVGN and destroy it so we don't have to, like, look at it again? Because I don't... If I didn't see it on the shelf, I probably wouldn't have uh, played it. Honestly, like... Uh, Why can't you uh, save, do quick saves like you could in the other Here's another game I gave up on uh, quite some time ago, uh, Attack on Titan. I was reading the manga recently, and I was just like, oh yeah, I own the game and never really finished it. So um, it, got, it just got a little bit grindy after a certain point. I remember really liking it, but... Oh shit, I had to... T <laughs> oh shit, that is, a lot of, that is a lot of data to download. Um,
Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw the, that video too, yeah. Super jaded motherfucker. For sure. Okay, what should we, what should we play uh, while we're waiting for Attack on Titan 2 to download? I have some demos here that we might we might play. Uh, these eight. Have I finished Moon? No, I haven't. I haven't played it at all. Honestly, there, there's a lot of stuff on uh, Switch I haven't played. So yeah, I uh, I do need to finish it for sure. I don't know. I'm too busy, man. I. Stage collect. Use your gifts to explore these ancient tunnels. Active member, Crimson King, Hawk, Raging Bull. I've only ever played Yeast 8, and I wanted to finish it. I actually was uh, considering playing it on stream tonight, but for some bizarre reason, I could not find it. Like, I don't know what it is, but I, I can't seem to find Yeast 8. So, like, I, um, I downloaded the demo for Yeast 9, and, um, I don't know anything about this series, uh, but I liked East 8 a lot. But, all right. For 10 minutes. Challenge a boss, put your skills to the test. So it plays exactly like... Uh, exactly like East 8, okay. Yeah, I, I gotta finish East 8, because I liked it a lot. The early game was, like, phenomenal. It just got a little bit too grindy and repetitive for my taste. Hey, I've been looking for, like, a good action RPG for a while. Nothing I've played, like, really seems to, like, really pull me in all that much. I like, uh, I like Castlevania. I like, um, Kingdom Hearts, but, like, I I've never been able to find replacements for those. Like, Kingdom Hearts is bad now, for sure. Yeah, so it's just exactly like the, uh, exactly like you say, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to find. A, I'm, I'm gonna have to find a you say. Yeah, whatever it is, I, I was, I was, I was, I played it a lot long ago, so I might just be hiding somewhere. But the environments look really dull, though. I, I don't know what the deal with that is. You know what? Yeah, I think I think I will check this out. I, I like the original use. I thought it was a lot of fun. I think I will. I think I will go ahead and uh, play that. Let's see. Let's uh, remove it though. What else do I have here? Mythic Ocean. Which I, I don't know anything about. Yeah, someone recommended me this game called Blasphemous and insisted that it was on the, the Switch eShop, but when like when I looked for a demo I didn't see it. So uh, I'm not sure if they removed the demo or what have you. I, I think uh, I think Game Pass has it or something. Uh, I don't I don't know what it is, what I, where I saw it, but I, I didn't see a demo for it. Mythic Ocean. Yeah, well, let's see what this is. No, no, I, I like the first two Kingdom Hearts. It's uh, actually the first Kingdom Hearts. It's uh, the sequels I don't like. And what is this? Uh, Mythic Ocean. Every game on the eShop just gives me this... Every demo seems to be terrible. I don't know what it is. What's the point of this game? Is it a... Is it a horror game? Yeah, I think I'm not interested. I don't remember why I downloaded it. Just because it was there, I think.
It's me, Elo. Oh no, finally awake, I'm a fish. It's a man eater, but we're we're an eel. Okay. A sort of in between place. I'm just an eel? What is this nonsense? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not at all intrigued by this. I'm just like, what is this? Like, I'm just an eel underwater? Is it like Kingdom Hearts where you get to choose? No, wait. Yeah, I really don't care. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll ever figure out, like, oh man, you'll figure out soon. I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't care. I don't care about Mythic Ocean. I don't. Uh, yeah, shit. Um, oh, we can play Castlevania. Was that all of them? Oh, we have World Death at this club as well. Which I also imagine to be shit. I've heard nothing but bad things about this. Apparently, I think this is, like, a team-up between the guys behind, like, Zero Escape and Danganronpa. So, like, the Zero Escape guy is, like, legit one of the biggest hacks I think I've ever seen in my life. And I don't, I haven't played Danganronpa yet, but from what I understand, this game was, like, a huge disappointment. They, like, wanted to make something like the Goonies or some shit, and they failed. Kuloon High School Chronicle. Um, I'll, okay, I'll try to keep an eye out for it. If it's really that good, alright. Yeah, I've heard nothing but bad things about this one, but I went ahead and like decided to check it out. Check out the demo, at least. Uh, alright. I hate it when games do this shit. Especially like RPGs, like... I, Trails of the Cold Steel 3 did this too. Okay. Like LBX did it, like... I, nothing gets me less invested in the story. That's it, it's your Yeah, I hate this already. Move to left step. Yep, you press me to jump. Oh, holy shit, I never would have figured that out. Holy shit, I think I hate this already. Jump to grab it, hang on, ah, uh, no, it's like I've never played a video game before. I, I really don't care. 
Attack on Titan is almost done downloading. I'm already just like, yep, it's shit. It is complete trash. Alright, let's just wait for that to uh, finish downloading. Yeah, that is, uh, that is some awful shit. Yeah, I haven't played this game in forever, so, uh, hopefully I don't completely forget how to play it. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just wait for the series to end, because, like, they, they, they had to, like, do this weird shit with the, uh, with the pacing of this, where, like, you have to do the Battle of Trost right away, and then that's somehow, like, 90% of the game, or, or, or some, something like that, I don't... I don't know, I don't know, like... Why did why did they need to like follow the series exactly? I don't original content. Make an original story. It just uh. Yeah, from what I remember of this game, it's not uh It's not great, but I don't think I've played it since like twenty eighteen, so let, let's see how it goes. Yeah, with the uh, with the anime, yeah, with the anime like concluding next year, like late le next year, uh, I imagine that uh, a sequel to this is probably on the way as well. All right, let's see how long I uh, stick with this before dropping it. Oh, wait, wait. Did it not, like... Does it not have my uh, save data? Hang on, let's see. The fact that they asked me that was kind of worrisome. Another mode? The story so far, we had cornered the female Titan at last, but Annie, ever stubborn... Oh, by the way, there's going to be spoilers in this. So if you've ever seen a dog on Titan, you're probably going to be fucked. I love the world of Attack on Titan, so like it really I don't know, just seeing this is just makes me happy. Yeah, you can interact with characters. Hey Reiner. Take a break. Yeah, whatever, bro. Is Aaron here? Wait. Material shortage, shit. I don't know how any of this works. So let's just go on to the next, uh, next fight. What's this? Let's see, purchase. Let's see. I don't know why they ch uh, threw so many RPG mechanics in here. Like, I just wanted an action game, but... I don't know, you kill so many Titans in this game, like, you really get the... You really get the impression that you could probably wipe out the Titan threat, like, all by yourself. <laughs> like, like, most people, like, struggle taking down one Titan, but, like... In this game, you're taking down, like, what, like... Dozens of them. <sighs> I 
Alright, here's a tie. Can we play this again? Oh, man, shit. I completely forgot. Yeah, I think this is, a, this is one of those instances where, like, I put up with a really mediocre license game because I'm a fan of the license. Let's see, here we go. I'm enough speed? Oh, come on. My weapon wasn't sharp enough. You have to get to the net. Aim for the net. Don't you know how to kill titans? Did they teach this? Teach you this in titans killing school? That should have been enough to do it, but okay, whatever. And you get covered in blood, too. I love that. Okay. Oh, hang on. Is someone getting hurt? Let's... Uh... God damn it. Yeah, I, think I think I'm not supposed to be dicking around here. Let's uh, go do something else. Yeah, you gotta get behind the neck. Hanji has been down. Oh no, she's gonna die. No, not Hanji. What are we ever going to do without Hanji? Okay. I don't think anybody dies in this unless you, like, uh, unless they're supposed to die. Uh, but hang on. Fuck. How do you play this again? Did they get me? Oh, oops. Good thing it's not biting down on me. Uh, it's not really working. Hang on. Hang on. Let's back up. Oh, damn. Alright, let's get away. That's destroying houses. Uh, I beat it. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, Levi needs help. Yeah, Levi's fucked, yeah. We're all fucked. We all got in way in over head, our heads with this one. Oh, we lost. It's my horse button. How do you call your horse? Lock on! Alright, hang on. There we go, okay. Oh, damn!
Well, if Levi wasn't getting jumped, I gotta save humanity's strongest soldier. Okay. Alright. Mission success? Yeah, 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 whatever. But what about Levi? Yeah, 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 whatever. Wiped out? Oh, fuck that. Fuck you, game. <sighs> fuck you. Alright. Should we uh, uninstall it? Yeah, not as much fun as I remember it being. I actually specifically wanted to like go ahead and play a bunch of games that like I just had on my uh, on my uh, on my shelf. So it's a, it's a big reason why I'm going through these games so quickly. Yeah, I dropped this game for being, like, a little bit monotonous and boring. Uh, Tales of Despair. I heard lots of good things about it, but I really don't care about it at all. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'm a Tales fan. I don't. I don't know. I, I just love this kind of thing. Honestly, honestly, I really like wanted to like this game, but. Let's, uh, let's see. 2019! It's been that long since I last played this? Wow, okay. Let's, uh, and where was I? Yeah, how do you play again? I don't understand Tails combat at all. <laughs> okay, I don't understand it. Okay, I think I think I'm on a boss fight. Hello, hello. Yeah, I completely forgot how to play this game. Eight man cook.
Uh, what would you want to ask me? I don't mind questions. I mean, you could have just asked. But, okay. Here we go. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, whenever I play this game, it's like... Yeah, what was that? That was kind of weird. These characters, ugh. Yeah, this game looks pretty primitive for like 2008, doesn't it? I mean, I guess there were still games... Games still kind of look like they were, uh... Oh, I was supposed to be A button, okay. Yeah, the A button takes up A B. okay. I get back here, you. Yeah, I think I want to play this a little bit more. Um, all right, let's let's try to get to the boss fight at least. I think that's what we're. I think that's what I was stuck on. I believe. Is that like I fought a boss and I couldn't beat it? Wow. <laughs> okay, one what, what of the things I really, like, I really play this game for, I really love, like, the interaction between the characters. It's great shit. I, I really like that kind of thing. Right. I don't know. I, I, I guess that's what these games are, just basic bitch RPGs, but... I don't know, this game got a lot of praise when it first came out, and uh, I don't think it really holds up, honestly. I'm not too into it. I mean, obviously there are things to like about it, but like, bro. I don't know, there's so many other games I like more, you know? Alright. supposed to be doing.
No, I don't think so. Let's go back the way we came. I'm certain it's like the other way. I mean, there are things I like about this game. It's like bright and colorful. I can see it like appealing to like people who really, really like Moe shit, but I'm not really that kind of person. And it's not like terrible Moe shit. So it's like, it's not really offensive to me. I mean, it's inoffensive, but it's not really all that impactful either. I'm not really, yeah, I don't think I like this game. Um, the combat just doesn't pull me in. Oh, here we go. It was in this field right at the end. Okay. Yeah, let's lose against this boss and then let's play something else. Yeah, every JRPG ever, I keep playing until I get, like, attacked by a boss that I can't beat. Items to steal? Oh shit, hang on. Should I just kill the dogs and then. Damn's right. God damn, I keep getting stunned. Too. Yeah, I never learned how the combat works, I don't think. Um, so I'm not really sure... Shit, what was that? Oh, it was a combo. I thought we beat the boss, but no, it was some kind of combo thing. Nah, I'm fucking dead. Kill this wolf, please. Why do they keep collapsing? All right, hang on. Ah, damn, he got me. Yep. Yeah, I don't really know how the combat works. Uh, yep. Okay. I guess that's it. I guess it's game over. Uh, Kind of the weirdest ending to an RPG I've ever seen in my life. Imagine getting jumped by a wolf and then just dying. Because, like, everyone in the party sucks. Ah. Yep, that's Tales of Asperia. Wow. Uh, what, a, what an experience. It's no final in this E10, but...
Yeah, I think those games might be uh, made more for kids or something like that. I don't know. It's uh, I, I can see a kid being really into those. Uh, personally, they're just not for me. Yeah, I, I had never beaten either of these games. Um, so I've had them for a while. Okay. Yeah, I think last time I played this, I, I played like the uh, the Japanese version. Wait, what's the end version? Which one is the um, North American Super Nintendo version? I guess we'll just play this. Um, Yeah, I don't think I've really ever tried playing this before. I've heard this game is, like, hard as fuck. Um, okay, difficulty... Uh, difficult, easy. And I guess we'll try it on easy. What did I do? Did I... Hang on, what did... What is this? Did I bring on the, the soundtrack? Here we go, sound test. There we go? Okay, there we go. Okay. It starts! Oh no! Oh no! The Pride Lands. So I gotta play his, gotta play his little Simba. Alright. Can I? I thought I could roar. There we go. That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let me uh, change my my thing. Yeah, we might we might actually uh, put a little bit of time into this because I have a I've been looking for more for more uh, Super Nintendo games to play. I've I've played through like a lot of them. Like after beating Super Castlevania Four, I've been looking for like um, really hard Super Nintendo games to get into. So. I mean, obviously, I want to beat, like, Castlevania 3. Actually, I was going to play, uh... I was actually going to play Castlevania 3 tonight. Uh, yeah, it might not happen. Alright, here we go. Let's play some, uh, Lion King. Hey, man, do you know how many girlfriends I've had that, like, fucking love the Lion King? Like, come on, it's not its not just a kid's movie. I mean, it's like... its liter It was literally inspired by Hamlet, like one of the most iconic pieces of literature ever conceived. So, I don't, I don't know, like, why you would shit on The Lion King. Here we go. Okay, so Simba can jump on things like Super Mario. Okay. Yeah, well, the sprite work for Simba is pretty good. Was this a Capcom game? Like, Capcom put out a, a bunch of really good, like, uh, Disney games back in the day, but I don't remember what they what they all did. I don't think this is one of them. I think the, the Aladdin one was one. DuckTales was, like, definitely one. Gonna be a mighty king. Enemies beware. Yeah, I grew up with the uh, with the Tarzan N64 game, which was pure trash. Okay. <laughs> wow! That's all you had to do! Okay, that was stage one, huh? Roar at monkeys. Can't wait to be king. Well, isn't this game, like, hard as nails? That's, uh, that's what I've heard, so that's why I played it on, I set it on easy. Oh, damn it. Here we are doing this level without Nala. So it's based off the, the music, okay. I just can't wait to be king.
Oops. Oh, well. Did somebody get hurt by that? Yeah, I think you get hurt by doing that. Uh, so you gotta watch out for fall a lot more. Yeah, this Disney licensed game is probably more competently made than a fucking Bubsy. Uh, Bubsy goes wild, or, or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, what is the Bubsy game? Does anybody know? Can I scare him? Move, I'm gonna be king. Now the sprites are pretty, pretty, uh, still. Yeah, I need to get, get him to throw me to the right. There we go. Oh, hang on. So, can I scare this monkey too? Wasn't the nostalgia critic who, uh, who couldn't figure out how to get these monkeys to turn around? Oh, wait, can I get this guy to turn around? Here we go. Would that do anything? Now, uh, let's see. Yep, that did it. <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, damn! You're the ostrich. Oh, man. These Disney games love their fucking ostriches. Oops. What the fuck just happened? I just died? Okay. Yeah, harder to do maternal for sure. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly killed me there. I saw the arrow telling me to jump upward. But... Okay. Oh, I see. It's a pink elephant there. That was kind of awkward. Yeah, you gotta jump over the pink hippos. I called it a pink elephant because of Dumbo. Hey, it told me to jump! I did nothing wrong! Damn. This game doesn't really doesn't want me to be king. Like, uh... But I gotta take my place at the top of Pride Rock! Okay. And these kind of license games, like, their difficulty can tends to come from, like, not knowing what the fuck to do. Like, not because they're, like, necessarily all that hard. Like, this is a good example. Like, I can see, like, kids getting really confused at this monkey part. I... Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't there, like, a Nostalgia Critic episode where, like, he specifically bitches about this? I don't think it's a nerd episode. I think it's a Nostalgia Critic one. Wait. What do you have to do? Wait, what are you doing here? What am I doing wrong? It, there are two arrows. Does that mean I have to jump twice? Oh, damn it. Yeah, fuck that up. Yeah, Simba drowned. <laughs> damn. At least it's not like that, uh... Remember the JonTron video? Where, like, it shows that? <laughs> it shows that clip of, like, uh, Sprite Zimba, like, fucking hanging himself. <laughs> like, what? I saw that for the first time, and I was just, like, couldn't believe it was real.
Okay, if I understand this correctly, what you're supposed to do is, like, jump on the nest and then jump again on the, the second nest, I, I think. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Fucking Simba. Simba actually recover his health if he stays still. Okay, uh... Wait, hang on, did I actually get the... the second one? Damn, I really like this. This is, this is charming as shit. Yeah, this, this is a really fun game. Okay. Jump over the hippo. The hippo kind of clashes. Like the colors are kind of weird. Like you can't really see what's coming. It's a lot like the, the turbo tunnel in Battletoads, where like you have no idea what you're doing. Uh, So what you're saying that I'm Scar, that if I became king, like there would literally be like storm clouds, like fucking everything over, like the the animals would leave. <laughs> Just like, yeah, like, what am I hitting? Like I don't understand it. I'm jumping over the, I'm jumping over the. Uh, Can't wait to be king. It even tells you what you're supposed to do. Wow. Yeah. What? Do, what is? What am I getting hit by when it comes to those double arrows? What? Do, what do the double arrows mean? Like I'm always dying in the same place. Like after I jump. Am I hitting the tree? Is that it? I keep getting hit. Yeah, what's what's the deal with this tree? I, it's the same spot every time, yeah.
there even any ostriches in the movie? Oh yeah, there were, weren't there? And there are two arrows. Can you jump twice with the ostrich, like Espresso and Donkey Kong Country? Is that what they're trying to get at? Why does the why does the screen change as you step forward? It's kind of bizarre. This game seems kind of flat and lifeless in some ways, but it kind of works. Oh, there we go. Okay, you can double jump. Okay, so you jump and then you... Somebody can actually... So you're supposed to double jump through it. Okay. Okay, that is that is really bizarre. All right, I was not expecting that at all. Nothing but da da da. Yeah. So, what's happened? Okay. So I think that's what you're supposed to do, is like jump over the tree, but what, what, what's the timing supposed to be? I'm kind of confused about that. Like, are you just supposed to like, just run forward or, or what have you? getting caught on. Yeah, I'm not... It doesn't, it's not... The fact that I've died on that, like, what, like, ten times now and I still don't know exactly what's getting me? It's, uh, really bothering me. Here I am, just running into the same thing over and over again. And should I look it up? Like, what, what are you supposed to do? I don't know. It seems kind of, like, kind of cheating, but... Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm gonna run out of continues this right. Scar's gonna win! Because I just can't even get through this fantasy song sequence. Alright. All you have to do is jump once? Like, what's the deal with that? All right. All right. So I was overthinking it the entire time? What was that? What was that nonsense? Damn it. So how do you grab one of the tails? Yeah, now we're going full, like, Ninja Warrior. Come on, looks like I... Come on, Simba, you're the you're the Simba warrior. You can do it. Weird. All right. Should I try to fall on top of it? How do I run out of life so quickly? All right. Well, I guess I can't get past this first part here. Yep, yep. All right, so we're probably going to start at the beginning of the level again. So let's try the uh, the ostrich again. Yeah, I'm kind of curious if I can do it consistently now. If it was just like a freak accident that I got got past it. I think you have to jump at, like, just the right time to avoid, like, the thing. To avoid the, the hippo and the nest, right? Is that it? How did I do it? Like... Yeah, now I'm confused. Like, I just... Like I said, it's, it's a harder than Doom Eternal. Harder than Dark Zone... <coughs> Part of the Dark Souls, too. <coughs> I can't think of a single boss in Dark Souls that took me, like, more than 20 tries to beat. <coughs> yeah, the hitboxes are kind of weird.
it's probably a trick to it. I might have to, I might legit have to walk, watch a walkthrough for this because it's kind of, wow, pretty brutal. It's a fun game though. Landing on top of the hippo? Is that all I'm doing? That's not what I wanted. Shit. Damn it. Jump, jump Simba. All right. do it like did I do you legit have to like jump over the hippo and like under the nest that's like the only thing I can think of like I didn't double jump Eternal isn't that hard. I played it. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's just the hitbox is being terrible, honestly. 
Yeah, the hitboxes in this game are kind of weird, but... Yeah, this game is definitely going on the list. I, I definitely want to beat it. I damn, yep, I think I... Yep, got a little bit further there. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, I did it once, uh, by accident, but... Oh, fuck, game over. You couldn't get past that fucking... <laughs> damn. Damn, BTFO. I got destroyed by that game. Damn. Yeah, way, way harder. For sure. For sure than any of the Doom games. It'll be a challenge uh, playing that. Uh, well, a challenge well worth taking, but... Yeah, I'll definitely uh, come back to that one. Now, that was a great game. Yeah, now here's a game I uh, need to play more of, uh, Final Fantasy X. Oh, they included the uh, ridiculous... Audio CD in this, I actually didn't have noticed. Yeah, I, I uh, love Final Fantasy X in general, but like I, I haven't finished it on Switch yet. I uh, I wanted this to be like the version of the game I wanted for it, but I, I still haven't done it yet. I have a lot of stuff to do in this game, and I think I, I think I already fucked up my file because I completely forgot to get the. Um, the destruction spheres, or, or whatever, like, so you can get anima. I, I should probably look at a walkthrough or something for that. I've already put 15 hours into this? Alright. Yeah, I'd actually, uh, last time I played this, I had just beaten Seymour. Yeah, what did I last play this? Yeah, March, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, I just beaten Seymour. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, th this is an RPG that I like. Uh, I like this one a lot more than Tales of Vesperia. This is the kind of stuff I like in my RPGs. Of course, I wish I didn't stop every playthrough, like, right before a fucking boss fight. Uh, let me see here. What do I, what do, I do? Uh, Titus. Uh, sure, we'll just delay the attack. I don't know. What are their weaknesses or anything? Like, can we just kill these assholes first? Oh, they have auto potions. Oh, fuck that. I hate that so much about this game. Is that the Guado all have auto potions and are like legit completely unstoppable? Yep, you gotta kill them both. Shit. Uh. 
Do we even have Yuna yet? Yeah, we do. Uh, yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is uh, summon forth a creature and then just... Yeah, I really, I really like this game and like uh, the the variety of like character fighting styles and stuff like that. Gorgeous animations. Even today, I think like the creature designs and like the plot, and the setting, like are just top tier. This is uh, this is this is some good stuff. The, the last truly great Final Fantasy, I think. So what I'm gonna try to do is like I'm gonna try and like take a lot of damage. And I'm gonna try to. Oh, what the fuck? It one hit KO'd me. Oh, shit. What should I do? I would just kill those two guys if they didn't have auto potions. Uh, let me see here. Okay, yeah, what are my options? Can I just steal the auto potions? Does, does that work? Oh, come on. No, it doesn't. Uh, attract speed. So it's immune to all spells? Like, I can't deal with it? What? What is this nonsense? Oh, they're healing. Oh, I see. They're healing the, uh... They're healing the Yeti, not each other. Okay. So maybe I can kill them after all. Okay, so I, I think I kind of misunderstood their, uh, their gimmick here. Okay, let's, uh... Let's kill this motherfucker. So he cast... So he just casts Protect and then dies. Ugh. Titus, stay alive. You don't need you don't need to. Oh, so does this guy have the auto potions? God damn it. Ah, you piece of shit. Hopefully that's good enough. Oh, come on! You just had to hit him like three times. Oh, no, he did die. Okay. Ah, damn it! I got them both! Ah! Okay, okay. I could win it, it's just... Okay. Yeah, let's try that again. Yeah, it's kind of an awkward time to have a boss fight. Oh, well, it's not even really a boss, is it? Like, Seymour is the boss. Who I actually breezed through this playthrough, funnily enough. Yeah, Seymour was, like, the hardest boss ever when I was uh, when I first played this, but... Uh, I was able to do it pretty easily this time. I guess i just gotten better at games. Or I was at a higher level or something. Better equipment. Um, hey, hey, you know what else is on Switch? Uh, Doom Eternal. <laughs> so I don't just praise games just because they're on Nintendo Switch. That's just, that's just stupid.
Okay. Yeah, these assholes. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna like blind him. Dark attack. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, damn it. Come on. <laughs> I should do it. He immediately just. Yeah, he has eye drops too. Damn. Skill, sleep attack, silence attack, dark buster. I mean, I can flip darkness, but the issue is that, like, they won't stay dark. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, they'll just keep whipping out auto potions. How do you stop them from using auto potions? Uh, let's see if that works. Nope, immune, of course. Yeah, but he immediately whips out the auto potions, which seem to never run out. Oh, but Lulu is a blizzard. Okay, that does enough damage where, like, it doesn't even really matter. Okay, so I can just use Blizzera, kill them in one hit, and then deal with the Yeti. Good enough. You're not strong enough for him. I hate it. That is like my pet peeve in RPGs when like bosses can move like several times a turn. That pisses me off. Yep, got him. He only does a thousand. Okay, yep. Okay, first things first. Drain. Special. Skill, sleep attack, silence attack, dark attack. Yeah, okay, I should keep warning. I think I'll switch him out for Kamari. Kamari can use. Uh... single time. Damn it. What is this nonsense? Okay. Well, thankfully, uh, haste makes her so fast. It's just Phoenix down him, and then we'll overdrive up Titus, uh, and Sheer, delay attack, and why don't we try delaying the attack? I seem to have work. Okay. Uh, Missed. Okay, let's switch. Let's 
go ahead and switch Lulu out. Let's heal everyone. Uh, my Titus needs it. Oh, that's right. He, uh, they cast Protect. Let's see if I can... Uh, can I dispel that somehow? Does Yuna have anything like that? Let's see. Null Blaze. Essena. No, shit. Okay, let's uh, switch out Yuna then. Hey, Kamari should be able to do it. Dark Attack. Yeah, I gotta dispel the... Yeah, the whole Protect thing is really bothering me. Uh, I can just get through it somehow. <laughs> We're doing about 200 damage a hit. Um, he keeps missing because of darkness. Yeah, I wish we had some kind of dispel. Now, let me see. Let me boost that Titus as well. Oh, that's right. I can switch in Orin and have him do it. Uh, hang on. I think Orin can do it. Power break. No. Guard. Threaten. No, I don't. Shit. I guess it's no good. I guess we'll just have to whittle him down. Damn, he got me there. Uh, let me see. Bring him back. I had to use a lot of Phoenix round downs this time. Hang on, let me uh, paste him again. Damn it, alright. He got Waka when I needed to, needed him to... Shit, hang on. Alright. Flick Darkness again. Alright. 2000. Okay. Dark Attack. there. 300, one more. Alright, that should do it. How? Like a boss. Yep, 
Yep, yeah, that's good. Praise be again. <laughs> Yeah, great, great game. Yeah, should I play more of that on stream? I think I was uh, having having a good time with it there. Pokemon Mystery. All right, let's uh, let's see how this is going. Oops, I have not played this game in a while. Let's. Uh... It's been a while since I played this game. I'm not sure if there's anything left for me to do in it. I think I basically stopped. I, I remember beating it and then like just deciding to call it quits. Again? I I don't remember. All right, let's uh, let's see what this. Ah, uh... oh, damn! There's still a lot left to do. It looks like. Okay. Uh... Okay, so I fainted and I didn't actually. Right, let's see if anybody responds to it. Let's see if anyone. Anyone still playing this game? Ah, that's way. Hey, kind of an awkward, uh... Okay. I mean, plenty of people are uh, asking for help still, so let's... Okay, who do I have? Uh... Alright, 
right, let's go. Ouch. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's play with my boy. Let's uh. Yeah, I am a. I am actually really, really terrible at the mystery dungeon games. I don't know what it is, but I'm just not very good at them at all. So, um, yeah, typically I just try to make a beeline to the top four. Yeah, this game is like really hard. I I've always I've always had a problem uh, beating it. I I think I've only beaten it once uh, when I was growing up. And, like, I, I, be, I beat it again with this remake, but it took me a long time to do. I remember spending, like, entire days trying to, like, beat it and then never actually... To get to the top of Sky Tower and then never actually doing it. I guess I can just, uh, you can just help other Pokemon while you're, uh, waiting to be rescued yourself. Yeah, this is not an easy game, so I guess, like, part of it is, like, rescuing other Pokemon. Alright. I didn't do a whole lot of it myself, but maybe I should do it more often. It'll give me a chance to use some of the Pokemon I don't normally use in this game. Yeah, it's been a while since we got a new one. When did this come out? 2019? I don't remember exactly when this came out, but I put a lot of time into it. Yeah, not necessarily a game that I think needed to be remade, but uh, they did a pretty good job with it regardless. Uh, It's that late already. <laughs> yeah, tonight just flew by. Once the stream came back on, it was like... Uh... Yeah, next weekend I'm going to have to play Famicom Detective Club for sure. Yeah, there's still a lot of things I need to do in this game. I probably should get to try to get back into it. Oh, I think I've uh, already talked a, a little bit about Kazuya. Um, yeah, I thought I thought I already did. Yeah, I'm fine with Kazuya being in Smash, even though Tekken is like an ir no relevant fighting game franchise. But yeah, I mean it's a better pick than fucking Steve for sure. A better pick than Crash Bandicoot. Like I just I don't know. There were just so many uh, bad choices being like pushed around. I'm better than Master Chief, right? 
I don't know. Like, I, I'm not thrilled about Kazuya, but, like, compared to, like, some of the other idiots that people were uh, pushing for, yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, I'm happy we got Kazuya. Yeah, sure, why not? Did they add new Pokemon to this game? Or was it, is it exactly the same as the original? I don't remember, actually. I don't think they did, but... Hang on, do I have... find the fainted Pokemon. You gotta bring him back. There's someone here. Master Chief doesn't deserve to be in Smash. Now where is he? Yeah, I love this game, but like, with the amount of grinding it's gonna take to get through it all, oof, it's gonna be a nightmare. I mean, there's a reason I never did it as a kid. Like, doing all the post-game content is just uh, nightmarish stuff. Found the Tamadachi? He named him after... <laughs> what? Why would he name him Tamadachi? All right. Yeah, yeah, we, we're going to leave. Tamadachi. Yep, yep, there we go. Okay, now we can pick up where we left off. <laughs> really? Okay. I died on the first floor. Wow, how embarrassing. Now, what was I doing? Okay. Tactics meeting, set the jobs. Save my child. To the 20th floor. Ugh. Nonsense, all right. Oh shit, the monster house! Ah. Okay. Yeah, I think this is what happened last time, too. I got jumped by a... This might explain it. Oops.
Oh, it evolves into Sand Slash! Oh, no. Awaken status. Oh, no. I thought it was evolving. Okay. Right, we gotta eradicate now. Oof. Here we go. That seems to be everything. All right. Why is the music continuing even after we we won? All right. All right, we escaped the monster house, but somehow we're still in trouble. All right. God damn, another one? How many more of these are there? All right. Soul's dead. Ah, damn. I'm not even technically in the room. That shouldn't have hit me. Right. I swear the magma cavern's a lot harder uh, when you come back the second time. Crap beat out of me by random scantrues. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, definitely. Embarrassing. That is just plain embarrassing. Ugh. Love the game, but I'm just not very good at it. Halo wasn't in anywhere revolutionary. That's just wrong. Yeah, it's getting pretty late. I probably should uh, end the stream. I don't know, man. I'm having a blast, like, playing all these games. Uh, this is what I like doing, man. <sighs> Just like uh, popping in random Switch games and uh, uh, giving them a whirl on screen. Let's see. Yeah, right now I just want to, like, get through a bunch of stuff and uh, try to figure out what I want to stream going forward. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 I actually started a new playthrough on. So, uh, yeah, that is that is one of the games I absolutely want to play more of. So, yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3, uh, definitely. Definitely got to finish this again on stream. Ugh. 
Nakia Skyrim, Hoken, Turrican, Actual Chain, it's on Fire Scramble, Trails of Cold Steel. Bloodstain. You know, I might as well pop in Bloodstain considering. Skyrim. I've been wanting to play Skyrim on Switch uh, for a while now, and I still haven't gotten around to it. Um, Do, 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 do. I kind of wanted to play uh, Bloodstained um, Ritual of the Night and try and like look for some of the hidden content because apparently there's a bunch of like a bunch of stuff I still haven't done in that game. I beat it, but <sighs> da 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 da. Alright, let's uh, play some Luigi's Mansion 3. Yeah, I'll probably play this for a bit, then play some Bloodstained, and then probably sk skedaddle. Probably. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I didn't play a lot of this like last time I streamed it. I don't even think I got past like the first floor or whatever. It's been almost two years since this game came out. I've only played it once. Oh. You can now play music from the game in the gallery. A 2D floor mode. A 24 is mode. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done a lot of that, uh, a lot of that stuff. You yeah, haven't played this since March. Okay. I'm so excited. I uh, I enjoyed this game a lot. It's a lot of fun. They they botched the combat, but other than that, uh, this is probably one of the better Luigi Mansion, Luigi's Mansion games. I, way better than the original, honestly. <laughs> Let's be real. I didn't even take Lee Ga e Gad back. What am I doing? All right. before the ghosts find us. Yeah, this game is like just bursting with personality. I, uh, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, the fact that Nintendo bought uh, Next Level Games is a really, really, really good thing. Hang on.
I don't even have the plunger yet, do I? <laughs> Why even consider using the stairs when there's a perfectly good elevator? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's right. I completely forgot that was a. I completely forgot that was a move. <laughs> there, there are so many moves in this game that I keep forget, completely forgetting about every time I play it. I've beaten it. We're gonna need those elevator buttons. I love how this, uh, this game is set up. It's so clever. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he laughed at me. What a man is all. What a little dick. I Uh, let's take him. Like I said, the combat in this game is uh, a really big step down from the first two. I think it's a uh, I think Dark Moon really, really nailed the concept, and they tried changing it for this one, and it, they really botched it. But on the flip side, the level design and, like, the puzzle solving is the best it's ever been, by far. So it's, like, it's not even really something I mind all that much, but it is very noticeable. And does he drop two elevator buttons? Okay. Yeah, one and five. Okay. Yeah, you don't go up in a linear order, as I recall. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Come on, Ouija. Oh. No.
<laughs> you still need to laugh. Oh, no. <laughs> Luigi's just like, what? What is this shit? What is this bullshit? Yep. Give me the plunger thing. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, the plunger. The virtual boo! <laughs> the virtual boo. That reminds me, I really need to pick up a virtual boy. I'm getting really tired. I think I am gonna have to stop. Um, take a break. And just come back next week. Yeah, I'd love to keep playing. Uh, but. Ha <laughs> no. So. <laughs> R.I.P. Sweets? That's hilarious! Yeah, that is, that is some good stuff. more stuff I wanted to play tonight, but oh well. Um, yeah, Monster Boy, I want to play Famicom the Technical Club. We'll, we'll, we'll play Famicom the Technical Club next week. Um, 